I come from uh, a contemporary background. So my mom and dad were classically trained, mm -hmm. but they did contemporary. Um, Carmen Robles and Anatolianovsky. And their school is uh, m mostly based on the French school, uh, <clears throat> which is where they trained, and Russian, Russian and French, but not English. Classical for me was very boring. It was so boring. <laughs> Giselle, oh, <No. laughs> oh, I didn't understand how people could like that because it was two dimensional. And I saw contemporary as three dimensional, you know, like the universe, mm -hmm. everything, details, colors, mm, you know. Um, so I didn't, um, I, you know, my understanding of dance came from somewhere deeper than uh, ballet. Mm -hmm. So when I did ballet, I was not very happy. I really wasn't. I didn't want to do it. But you chose it as a career. Uh, yeah, then I chose it then, yeah. But at the beginning, I didn't <laughs> want to do it. I was like, oh, 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 no, too boring, too symmetrical. I wanted something that was fluid, something that meant something, that musicality, colors, timing, you know. Um, but uh, but then, then I... I started and then and then I got caught up but I think my aim all the, all the time since I was very little was to to perform to tell a story to and it doesn't have to be telling a story in a classical world also in contemporary uh, even when it's abstract you're still telling a story because it's energy is you know is feelings, that's all. Uh, and so even when, when it's as, uh, um, well, when the abstraction is lineal, when it has no colors, even that has energy. So it's a bit like space, it's like a bit like planets, you know, it's all about energy. You don't have to say one day she went off to get a drink is, you know, that's irrelevant, is how you felt that is relevant. So the dance one is, um, is a variation that is normally done on the very old ballerinas, or older ballerinas. At least it's, that's how everybody remembers um, so many ballerinas at a certain age of their career, and they all do dance one. But the beauty <laughs> till they eventually do it. Um, but it's very interesting because even, I think as a, at a certain age, you have so much um, life in you that you understand breath, you understand uh, nuances, you understand colors, you understand uh, feelings, emotions. And when you are for them is still going forward, 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 and not think about um, uh, danger. They just go. Uh, it's mothers who are thinking about danger, <laughs> you know? Careful this, careful don't do that. They, they just do it till they are 30. And it's only when you hit 30 that you think, oh, oh, wow, I did all this. I could have, you know, things could have happened to me. Um, so, so it's a, a, it's a very, um, for them, it feels more like a play, but it's not identity yet. Um, so that's, I guess, quite an interesting path 
for them to be able to do Dan Swan. And as they do it, you can see the energy is just pa 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 pa. There's no no death in it because <laughs> they haven't thought about it because they don't feel it. They don't feel you know that close to death. The Dan Swan technically doesn't have much. Uh, you know, you don't have to sweat for a double period. It's only bures, but that bure, that little attention to detail in the technical ability has to be so pure and so thought through. Um, again, that's something that you gather with age, is, is, is how it is. Uh, young generation only think about periods and tombs <laughs> and fuetes and you know, that's, that's their energy is, is in there. Um, they don't think about the small details yet. So to be able to tell them to concentrate on the small details and see it, because yesterday, uh, finally, they, they were starting to become individuals. Um, so trying to, again, marry those two, the, the detail, technical detail with the emotion and try to make it one, like a, like a plat, you know? Try to make it one plat. Mm. Um, it's for me my, my goal. Also, what I like about the Dine Swan is that for some reason, because there is no technique, you know, they don't think double period, um, they can start searching inside. Mm. And so they become very individual and they stop copying each other, you know. Unlike Corsair, um, you know, so many don't you da 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 ma, Sylvia everybody's da, 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 da. this is how I should do it this is how I watch the video this is how I should do it here there's no video there's nothing it's them and um, for me that is the beginning of the art form of every art form of the art is individuality and how you express yourself and then, of course, the technique. Da, 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 da. But that little seed that is inside that m is going to make you want to go further, that is going to want to make you become an artist. And that is uh, something that the Dying Swan provides in, in some ways. Interesting enough, I think all the dancers um, feel closer to contemporary in some ways because they can be free you know, to mm. express themselves. And they think contemporary has no barriers, no boundaries, you know. But they do, contemporary has the same boundaries as, as classical, it's just the same. It's just that in classical, they don't think, oh, from here upwards. They think this, you know, outside. And, and it's not like that, it's always inside out. It's a lesson. <laughs> That's, it's so good to do both contemporary and classical, so you can experience, you know, that feeling inside. Enjoy it. Enjoy your your um, journey towards um, a company or towards anywhere you want to go, and enjoy it now at school. Uh, work hard because whatever happens it will be very useful for anything you do in life mm -hmm. um, if it's ballet great if it's not ballet also great because we need people i think the ballet and the arts need people that understand it not just people that do it